Hi everybody. Welcome to Weekend Warriors. I wanted to do a quick video on how to get your keyboard set up on your Xbox so you can basically play any game that you would like. First thing you're going to want to order is you're going to want to order the Zem Apex. I got it on Amazon. It was about 120 bucks. This is going to be your main component you need besides your keyboard and mouse, obviously. For me, I have the Razer turret combo already. Unfortunately, it only works with 14 games. There's a lot more than 14 games that, that I want to play with the keyboard. So I ended up having to purchase this, but I'm going to show you guys how this gets around any, pretty much any game you want so that you can play it on a keyboard. So you're going to want to order this on Amazon. It's the Zem Apex. Get close, you guys can see it, see the box. It's 120 bucks, it's a little router. On the back, it's gonna show you that it comes with the router. You're gonna need a phone, because you need the app. And then you're gonna need a, a mini USB hub. The hub that comes with this, not good. So what I did is, I ordered one for $6.99 on Amazon. Works like a gem. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is, you wanna come in closer, I'll show you. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do when you get the Apex, you're gonna plug it into your computer. I've already done this. But when you plug it into your computer, it's gonna give you a little card that comes with the box. It's gonna show you a website. You're gonna update the firmware on the product. You update the firmware, it's pretty much good to go at this point. What you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to go to your phone. You're gonna to wanna to go to your Play Store and you're gonna type in the Zim Apex and you're gonna have a little app that you have to download. It's the Zim Apex, looks like a little bullseye sign. So once you got that, you're gonna click on that and then this is how you're gonna put everything together. So you're gonna get your mini USB hub, you're gonna plug it into this adapter, this Apex or the Zim Apex adapter and then from here you're gonna to have to plug in three items. You're going to have to plug in your keyboard, which I already have with this dongler. You're going to want to plug in an Xbox controller. You notice it doesn't even have to have batteries. It just needs to be plugged in. So you're going to want to do that like so. And then last thing is you're going to want to plug in your mouse. Once you've got all of those items plugged in, you're going to plug this bad boy in. Turn the Xbox on. Make sure the controller's off. Do not turn the controller on, it'll turn it on itself. Another thing I would recommend if you play PUBG, get yourself one of these bad boys. It's an SSD card. You plug it into the back of your Xbox, it's an external hard drive. So basically, it lets your game perform at a much higher level. You won't have any rendering issues. It's almost like I'm playing on PC, but not quite. The reason I have done invested this much into an Xbox is all my friends have Xbox, so I'm not gonna go buy a PC and play by myself. I'll just invest in the keyboard tech so that I can play with my buddies and have some fun. So now that I got the TV or the Xbox on, mine's already downloaded, so mine's gonna be good to go. But for you guys on your first time, we're just gonna do the example with uh, PUBG. So with PUBG, see how I got the keyboard already ready and working? With PUBG, it's connecting for the first time. Let me press this button so I can read it. You want to let them read together. These items are going to read. And then you're going to see you have PUBG. And then if you look closely, I'm going to have to turn the brightness up on this phone. It's already up. It's reading my Xbox controller, my mouse, and my keyboard. From here... You're going to want to go to, sorry, back. You're going to want to go to your, the little pencil. On the pencil, it's going to have all your settings. So for me, I got my aim sensitivity pretty high. I have it at a 62 and a 60. And then from here, you can manage all your controls through the app of what you would like, what's comfortable for you. I might do another video on what my preset is and what I like, but for right now, I'm just trying to give you guys the idea of how this works. So boom, everything's on there. Everything's good to go. It's gonna work instantaneously. So look, watch, boom. My A button is my space bar. So I'll have zero issues with 
any kind of connectivity. I've noticed zero lag. It's just as good as just using the Razer Turn on Fortnite without the adapter. I noticed the same exact connectivity with aiming and everything. So there's no issues with that. I'm gonna go into a training simulation real quick just to give you guys an idea of how, how nice it really is. It's worth it. It's definitely a good product. Some people are gonna hate, you're gonna have those those elitists that play the PC, they're gonna tell you just get a PC, they're gonna act like they're better than you because they play a computer over a console. Which in all reality just makes them look like a fucking idiot. So, sorry for my cussing, but it gets me frustrated when people think they're better than other people because of materialistic items. This is an affordable thing you could do for your friends. If you can't afford a $1,500 PC, I probably invested 270 in the keyboard, another 100 probably invested when it's all said and done and everything maybe 400 bucks and I got what I wanted and now I get to play PUBG, Battlefield, Seven Days to Die, anything really I want on a PC and if you look the aiming and everything is flawless you're gonna have zero issues you're gonna be able to basically do everything you could do with the controller if not more I've noticed my kill death ratio has been rising since I got it. So you're just gonna. It's pretty simple, guys. Simple setup. If you have any questions, just put in the comments. Message me on Instagram at Weekend Warriors. And that's about it. If you guys have any other questions, just let me know. I appreciate all the help from you guys and uh, have a great day.